Well, hello everyone! Are you surprised to see me? I am so excited to be here with you today. Mrs. Jenna asked me to come spend time with you because she is on vacation! Oh, vacations! How I love vacations! Have any of you ever been on a good vacation lately? Well, Mrs. Jenna is on a cruise! Traveling the high seas to wonderful destinations. You know, friends, I have been reading in the Bible this week about Jesus and his disciples. They were on boats all the time. I read a story this week that I thought was crazy. I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy. Sometimes I think the stories in the Bible sound impossible, but I am learning that God is the God of the impossible things. We can trust God even when things seem impossible. I'm very excited to share this crazy story with you. But first, I think we need, as Miss Jenna calls it, a quick recap. We have been learning about Jesus walking out his father's plan here on earth. We have seen stories of Jesus healing a lot of people and heard lots of stories of Jesus teaching us some really important lessons. Last week, we learned how Jesus is a miracle worker. He turned that little boy's small munch into a big, big meal for everyone. See, there is that impossible thing again. That seems impossible to make a little boy's lunch feed 5,000 people. But with God, anything is possible. Before we got to our story, we need to work out our energy. I want to do a silly theme this week. Let's have a ninja dance break. <laughs> too much fun. Mrs. Jenna would have loved to do that with us. Okay, but now what I have been waiting for our crazy story. It's time for story mode. Jesus had been teaching crowds of people by the Sea of Galilee. It was getting pretty late, so he told his disciples, Go get into the boat and go up to the other side of the sea. Jesus sent the crowds away and went up on the mountain to pray by himself. That evening, the boat was far from the shore. The wind blew and the waves tossed the boat around. And at around three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came towards his disciples walking on the sea. You see, this is the crazy part. Pay attention. It said that he was walking on the sea. The disciples saw Jesus and they were terrified. <laughs> terrified. <laughs> Have courage. It's me. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it is really you, tell me to come to you on the water. Come. Peter got out of the boat and started walking on the water towards Jesus. But when Peter saw how strongly the wind was blowing, he was afraid. And Peter began to sink. Ah! Lord, save me! Jesus reached out his hand and grabbed Peter. And Jesus asked him why he doubted. And then they got into the boat and the wind stopped. Everyone on the boat worshipped Jesus and said, Truly, you are the Son of God. Wow! You see what I mean? Crazy! Jesus walked on the water. 
Then his power helped Peter walk on the water too. That is crazy. We've been learning that Jesus is a miracle worker and he can do the impossible. Let me just tell you that it is impossible to walk on water. I have tried it and let me just tell you, I sunk. But Jesus can do the impossible. And what's really great about this story is that he can do the impossible for us. Peter walked on the water too. That's so crazy. But Peter got scared. And when he stopped trusting in Jesus, he began to sink. Because you know what? Jesus was there to help him. Jesus is always there for us and we can trust him even with the really hard things. Well, friends, let me tell you what. This has been so much fun. I am so glad that even though Miss Jenna is on vacation, I could be here to teach you more about Jesus. I hope you have a great week. Bye. <laughs>